our website. The name James Hebenstall isn't one you'd know, but it's on the lips of some of our biggest stars. James is just 14 and really knows the meaning of the saying, it's better to give than to receive. Gavin Alder has his truly remarkable story. You raise me up so James Hebenstall is a little champion. Oh, he's a very generous boy. Hey, James, just wanted to let you know that we think you're one in a million and you rock our world, babe. James Hempenstall is a little champion, a 14-year-old with a huge heart. James? Yes, how you doing? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Are you very well? Yes, very well. The fact is, he's not and never has been very well. I've got a brain tumour. A brain tumour doctors said would kill him before he reached two years old. But James keeps defying the odds. Oh, I'd say that James is pretty much a walking, talking miracle of biblical proportions. He really is. At 10, James was offered a dying wish by the Starlight Children's Foundation and promptly gave it away. He's the first and only person to give away his wish. Instead, he threw a party for all the people who had ever helped care for him in hospital. Why did you wish to give to other people? Because they were looking after me for so much when I was so sick. He loves people and he's very keen on wanting to help people and he doesn't let his own uh, physical disabilities get in the road of that. With his father, Peter, he's organised a concert in Brisbane next month featuring some of Australia's hottest performers. The proceeds will go to the Starlight Children's Foundation to help other sick kids. We've got Chanel, Ricky Lee, the Veronicas, and the host is Dale Summers. G'day, buddy. G'day. Shannon, Shannon Noll is happy to be a headliner in James's big event. He's a champion. I don't worry about that. Mm. <laughs> I have to get him yeah. up sing a song with a fire up there. Yeah, you just can't say no to him. Susie O'Neill said yes to being the patron of James's Beneath the Stars Foundation. I think he's inspiration because he's not thinking about himself. He's not sitting down feeling sorry for himself because he mightn't have, you know, a long, long time to live but he's out there just trying to help others. That's such a big thing for such a young person and he still goes down, I think, in history as the only person who's given his wish away. That's right. So, you know, that's just such a, a inspiring great inspiring thing. Yeah, an inspirational thing to us. James even tried to recruit one of the biggest, hardest to get to superstars on the planet, Barbara Streisand. Well, I asked her for quite a few months, but then she wrote me an email saying, James, I can't come. You all wanted, how about if you come and see me? So I did, and it was wonderful. James Hempenstall wants to continue mixing with the rich and famous, and he's already planning for the future. 2009, we're going to do Africa beneath the stars. To raise money for World Vision and the UN Food Program. No doubt James will be looking for more big names, but is giving nothing away. Who's on your wish list? No, I'm thinking about that part yet. I'm thinking about that part yet. Come on, there must be someone. No, Gavin, you've got to get rid of this one at first. You've got to focus. There are no guarantees for James. His illness could end his inspirational life at any time. But whatever time he has left, you just know he'll live it to the full. Do you ever get scared? No, because it, it will all be good. No sickness, nothing. We won't be ill, we'll be healthy. So, so you're really not afraid of, of death? That's right. And you've got a whole lot of life left in you anyway? That's right, Gavin. Raise me up to more than I can be. He certainly does. What an amazing kid. And the booking details for...